Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu, Stealing Sand. Before we go into it, I know my hair is just all looking crazy right now. We'll just deal with that, okay? Fine. There's loads of sand on Earth, right? Loads and loads and loads and loads. Well, there is, but we're using up way too much and we're running out of it. And when I say running out of it, we are running out of it. So using everything from electronics through to concrete. You might be thinking, eh, not many things use sand, but just think of everything that's made of concrete, everything that's made of electronics. Oh yeah, that's pretty much everything in the world. That's what sand is used for. The other problem is we're mining the sand and as we're mining the sand, we're damaging the ecosystem. We're destroying the environment to get more sand, to make more concrete, to make more electronic devices. How much sand is used to make concrete? About 60 to 70% of all the sand that we mine is used to make concrete. That's about 30 billion tons every single year. How much is 30 billion tons? Well, if you were to build a wall 27 meters high by 27 meters wide, it would go around the entire equator every year. That's how much sand we're using. Twice as much as all of the other building materials combined. Do you know the Palm Islands off Dubai coast? Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? 94 million cubic meters of sand was used to make them. 94 million cubic meters. That's a lot of sand. Now, because of this desire for sand, we've got sand mafia or sand pirates. These are criminal organizations that have sprung up in order to harvest or mine sand for building construction and electronics. Most is known about these criminal organizations in Italy and India, but they operate in many other countries. 70 countries are known to have criminal organizations around sand mining. And it's a very lucrative business because sand is really heavy. Sand costs a lot of money to transport. So if you have a building site and you know someone in the know, wink, wink, who can just go and get some sand for you, which is a bit cheaper from around the corner, as in getting it out the ground around the corner, why would you not pay a little bit less money for it? Damages the ecosystem and it's illegal. That's why you shouldn't buy it. In Delhi, 900,000 tons of sand were illegally mined in a single year, in one place in a single year, 900,000 tons. And as a result of sand pirates or sand mafia, 24 islands in Indonesia have now been destroyed, as in all of the sand taken from the islands in order to be sold off illegally. We need less concrete, and it's only gonna happen if the concrete that's already damaged doesn't need replacing. So they're thinking of mixing bacteria and fungi into the concrete, so then when cracks appear, the bacteria and fungi secrete chemicals, substances, which repair the cracks. This is still a little bit of a way off though. Another option is 3D printing blocks of concrete, like bricks, and then you can just use a stack, it, stack on top of each other. Instead of pouring tons and tons and tons of concrete into these massive molds for things like foundations, for things like supporting walls. So the future is looking hopeful, but it's just not coming soon enough. Maybe next time you're at the beach making a sandcastle, think, is there another material? Is there something else I could be using to build this? Because that may revolutionize the entire industry. That is Stealing Sand. Thanks for tuning in. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.